Hi, welcome. Have you taken videos or some photos that you realize that there's stuff in there that you want to remove or fix it in post, as they say? Like the time when my wife and I went to Sussex Park to check out the cherry blossoms. As we got to the park entrance, I saw the sign Sussex Park, and I knew that sign is perfect for me to use Da Vinci Resolve's patch replacer tool for today's video. Let's hop over to DaVinci Resolve and check it out. Okay, I have this photo, a uh, selfie of my wife and I uh, in front of the Sussex Park sign. And as you can see, one of the letter, uh, the S, is kind of missing. And there are some blemishes on the sign, so we could fix it with this patch replacer feature in DaVinci Resolve. So first things first, let's head over to the uh, color page. And the first thing I'll do is to add a new note. And in this note, I would put the patch replacer in. If you don't see the patch replacer or you don't see the FX panel, just click on this icon here. And you find patch replacer. Just drag this right on top of the second note now there's two uh, these circle things here uh, this one is the source and this is the uh, say target so uh, whatever you want to replace you would uh, get the source from here and then um, replace it there so um, let's, uh, let's move this to roughly where the S is and move this to somewhere else first. So, kind of like that. And what we want to do is, uh, head over to the global blend. Make sure click on it so we could see it and then turn the blend down to zero so we could see what's underneath uh, or, or what's in this circle first okay so we would find where this s i'm just going to zoom in and to get a better view and this is pretty good where the S is. Now I just going to drag this to where this other S is and then I'm going to turn the blend up a bit so I could kind of place it where the S should be. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to turn it back to 100%. And then that fixes the S. Now let's fix this little patch here. So I will add another serial note. And again, do the same thing on this one. This time, drag this over here and that over there and again turn the blend down so we could see what we're doing and then shrink this to cover oh, we'll get the uh, that mark up there as well so that will catch all three marks and then we could place it pretty much anywhere. So probably here is good because it's pretty clean here. So we'll turn the blend back up and voila, you could see that. Okay. And then add another note. Replacer there. And right away, let's fix all three of these and patch or blend down. 
and then those three and then this one will probably get it from here and then blend up there so let's head over to the uh, edit page so you could see the result and now we have a much better looking sign oh by the way if you feel this video is helpful please click the thumbs up button below to let youtube share it to more people also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell so you'll be notified next time i upload a new video so with video you could do the same thing let's put a video on the timeline here and this is the uh, video of the same sign uh, no point in all this length here let's start from maybe here something to we don't need the sound let's get rid of that and then just start from here let's do that okay so uh, as you can see there is these marks the letters uh, part of it is missing so again let's head over to the color page okay so first thing we we'll do is to add a serial note and when this note is selected then we head over to the tracker page by clicking on this icon here, the tracker uh, icon. And then we have to select this FX plus feature to get this uh, plus, this arrow thing. So we'll click that to get this little plus sign here, okay? And with this plus sign selected, we'll, let's use this for this spot here okay we want to get rid of this um, little um, black mark here so let's put that there and we have to track it okay so uh, because I'm at the end of the clip so let's track backwards and let DaVinci Resolve do its thing okay so let's take a look that was quick yeah it seems to track it pretty well okay so from here this is tracked so we just need to place the uh, patch replacer onto this note and this is the source so let's put it there and turn the blend down so we could see what we're doing and because we only concentrate on this we could just make this circle like so all right and then we'll move this to here something like that from here and then turn the blend back up and then we just head over to the edit page to see how DaVinci did. Okay, the mark is gone. So let's see, let's scrub through. Yep, totally gone. and you could do the same thing remove these marks here let me let me let me do that and then uh have you check out my finished uh result and that's how simple it is to use the patch replacer in davinci resolve 18. thanks again for watching remember keep on filmmaking and have fun creating. Bye for now.